Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. We're here on location in Anaheim, California for CSUN 2023. Nicole, didn't we already do this? Oh yeah, that's right, part two, hey! We survived day one, we're getting ready here for day two. Gonna hit some sessions, hit the exhibit floor, so come join us. We have stopped at the OrCam booth. You may have seen some of our past videos on the OrCam Read and the My Eye, but we're specifically stopping to talk with Jason about the new stand that they've released for the OrCam Read. Jason, can you tell us a little bit about the stand? Absolutely. Uh, so thank you for stopping by the booth. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you guys. So the stand for the Read device, um, it comes in two separate parts, um, pieces that you will put together. And then the the read, if you know, if, if you need something stationary, uh, let's say you you know you have a hard time maybe holding the read device to take a picture of the text. Sure. Um, you want something stationary, you can use the stand, and then you just simply put it in there, and then you line your document up underneath, and then you can just press the trigger button, and takes a picture and starts reading. So. So with the stand also comes a speaker that you would put inside the uh, insert in the jack area where the um, where the wired headset would connect. Okay. So you just put the speaker in here, and then this way it um, you know it's louder, right? So it almost so it, I'm assuming that you're getting the full eight and a half by eleven sheet with the stand, so you're getting a full page scan. Yes, and okay. you can also um, increase raise and lower the height of the stand. Oh, okay, perfect. So this way, if you have a smaller document, you can um, you can lower the stand. If you have a larger document, you can raise the stand. And then you having that, that external speaker, to me, sounds like then you have kind of best of both worlds. You've got the portability of the OrCam read when you're doing it more handheld. Yes. But then when you want maybe a standalone OCR device on your desk or wherever it might be, you can then kind of pop it into the stand, get that uh, hands-free, well, not exactly hands-free, but at least not having to hold it steady. Right. But then getting that external speaker then to boost the sound as well yes. when you get your reading. That's Absolutely. really cool. And then it swivels, so then you can also um, raise the stand up. Uh, if you want to point it at a screen, at your computer screen, um, and then you can just swivel it back down. Okay. And the, this stand is available today, is that correct? Yes, it's for it is. sale now? Great. And what's the um, MSRP on that? Uh, if you buy the stand alone, it's $200 okay. uh, for the stand. And then if you buy it as a kit with the, uh, the you can buy it as a kit if you buy the reed with the stand, uh, that's $2,250. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Jason. We appreciate your time today. Thanks for uh, uh, yeah. telling us a little bit about the OrCam Reed stand. Absolutely, thanks for stopping by. Still on the floor here at CSUN 2023, we stopped at the Orbit Research uh, booth here. Speaking with Van Kateshin, we are looking at some of your new tactile graphic displays. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the Graffiti and Graffiti Plus. If you could take a couple minutes, tell us about it. We'd love uh, to hear about your uh, new devices. Sure. So the Graffiti is a tactile graphic display that has 60 columns and 40 rows of dots. And one of the unique things about this display is that it, uh, each pin can be set to different levels. So uh, there are five levels that can, they can be set to. And this allows you to uh, create not only two-dimensional pictures, but also three-dimensional ones. So you can use the height to represent things like color, texture, importance, um, various attributes. And uh, the, there are many other features that make it a very you know, powerful graphic uh, display. And one of them is the ability to actually uh, draw. So the entire surface is a touch screen. And you can draw on it, and I can show this to you. So this, this is now showing a picture from, that is saved onto an SD card. Okay. And this is a picture of a chart that we just downloaded from the internet. And I've got several of those stored, so I'm just gonna scroll through them. And you'll see, uh, if this is a floor plan. Um, the next one is a, a triangle. And uh, these are just pictures that we have downloaded. This is a picture actually of the, of the solar system. And uh, so now if I wanted to, to annotate this or edit it in some way, uh, 
By the way, you can also see the different levels of, uh, of heights here, which represent different colors in the original bar chart. Now I can draw on this by simply pressing a key combination and doing this. And here I'm showing something with an arrow. I can draw at different heights. So I'll draw at a lower height now, let's say here. I can draw another arrow here, for instance, or uh, draw it at a yet another height and show a circle here. So the, uh, and these pictures can then be saved. Um, it has a lot of different connectivity options, including um, HDMI input. So you can connect it to a smartphone or a computer and display whatever appears on the smartphone or computer screen onto this. So it'll basically mirror the screen. And um, this is really powerful because you don't need any special drivers or software running on the, on the device that you wish to view the screen on, and it'll just automatically mirror it. All that translation, everything's happening right on the display itself. The display itself. So there's no, like you mentioned, just grabbing an image right from online, loading it right in. You don't have to translate it, send it through any other software first, just put it right in yes. and have access, the tactile access to it. That's exactly right. It's amazing. Right. That's exactly right. And it can do a lot of other things such as interface to computers or calculators like this. This is our talking graphing calculator. Okay. And we can just connect it over USB and have the display again sure. mirror on that. So you can actually, if you're studying STEM subjects, you can get a live uh, view uh, in tactile form of the graphical data. Okay. And what's the big difference between the, the uh, Graffiti and Graffiti Plus? So the Graffiti Plus is very similar to the Graffiti, but it adds a line of Braille to, uh, to the uh, graphic display. Okay. And this enables you to have a single platform that provides you both perfect text in Braille. Mm -hmm. So it's got our true Braille cells and uh, also um, graphics. So one of the challenges with graphics and Braille together is that you can't do both of them perfectly on a single display. Sure. Because for graphics, you need equidistant pins, but if you have equidistant pins, you can't do proper regulation, you know, um, uh, NLS standard Braille. Sure. sure. So with a separate uh, Braille um, uh, line, we, we get, we get uh, proper Braille, and with the graphic display, you get proper Sure, so you're separating them, yet keeping them still under one display, though, exactly. so one device. Exactly. Okay. Very cool. And another key feature that I'd like to highlight is the fact that you know, in our display, you know, the pins are actually two millimeters tall. So it's very easy to perceive the graphics. And also you can yeah. keep, the, keep your hand on the display while it's refreshing. So you don't need to lift your hand and because the pins are strong enough to move your to hand. To move your hand up, okay. That makes sense, allowing you then to really see those changes in exactly. real time versus lifting your hand, then coming down, trying to figure out now what changed from what I was feeling a moment ago. Exactly. And, and the feeling of, of the dots changing is actually pretty amazing because you can see things literally live. Yeah. And I was just going to say, not only seeing the changes, but you can start to use that then to convey information as well, maybe in the future if it's a moving picture or exactly. whatever it might be. Exactly. Sure. So this actually has a blinking feature as well. So you can set certain pins or any pin to mm -hmm. blink and you can use that to convey information. So for instance, you can have a, uh, a hidden label okay. that is indicated by a blinking pin. And uh, when you touch that point, because the entire screen is a touch screen, when you touch that point, the label pops up. Oh, very cool. Okay. I could see that for mapping or whatever, where you might want more information about a specific area or whatever it might be. Exactly. That's very cool. And on the Graffiti Plus, one of the unique things that you can do is since it has got a touch screen, it's got HDMI input, and it's got Braille and graphics, if you connect it to a computer, mm -hmm. let's say, and the computer is running a screen reader, let's say it's running NVDA, and um, wherever you are touching, and you, you connect it over HDMI, so you have a replica of your Windows screen on this. Now, wherever you are touching the cursor on your Windows computer is moving. Okay. And let's say you tap a particular place, you're, let's say you're reading a, a web page and there's some text. As you tap that text, the, uh, the reading cursor of the screen reader will move to that point and you will get speech as well as braille output simultaneously. Oh, wow. 
And if you're reading, if you're reading a, a document or a web page that has graphics, as you touch the graphic, you'll get the alt text for it, and you can zoom in and actually see the graphic live. While you're also reading, yeah. While you're also reading Seeing the alt text. Seeing the alt text. Right. Very cool. Now, can both of the, are, are, is Orbit, are you selling directly in the United States, or do you have resellers? Where, if somebody's interested in purchasing these devices, where would you send them to? Uh, we would we would uh, ask you to send them to us. Okay. We, we sell them directly. Sure. We sell our products through distributors as well. But okay. the graffiti being the kind of uh, product it is, currently we are selling it directly. Perfect. And is it uh, is both models uh, available today? Uh, there are they for sale or, uh, now, or is this a future release? Yeah. So the graffiti has been on sale for now two years. Okay. So yeah, they're 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 available. The graffiti plus will start shipping in about two months from now. Great. And one last question, what's, um, what's the MSRP on both devices? So the Graffiti is $14,995. Okay. And the Graffiti Plus is $17,995. Awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Uh, good luck for, with the rest of the convention. Thank you. Stopping here at the Vespero booth, looking specifically at the Compact 8. This is an 8-inch fully touchscreen portable video magnifier. And really it has two standout features. First is dynamic contrast. Sometimes with some portable video magnifiers, when you're in the high contrast mode, you may look at some text that really washes out and it's really hard to read. With the Compact 8 and their new AI and some of the um, algorithms that they're running, that uh, dynamic contrast really makes it possible to read that, uh, that, that content. The other cool feature is live panning. So when you are zoomed in, you're able to use the touchscreen to zoo, uh, to pan around reading your material without having to move the actual device. So making it easier to read your content. Tech Connect Live back on the floor here for CSUN 2023. We stopped at the iDaptic booth talking with Michaela about your uh, new iDaptic 5. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So this is our i5, it's our newest product. We just released it in October. It is our low vision assistive device, primarily for central vision loss. So we're able to use people's remaining peripheral vision and kind of manipulate the image. So you'll see the glasses here, they're very lightweight and sleek, so more like sunglasses than electronic glasses, right? There's a camera here in the center and we'll utilize that camera and display it on the two displays on the inside. We also connect to our app here on its companion phone. Um, our main features here that people mostly use is our manual zoom here. We also have auto zoom that'll recognize text and faces. And then what makes us really unique is we have a feature where we can switch from using the camera on the glasses to using the camera on the phone. So this is really good for fine print, medication bottles, anything like that, because it has a much clearer image on the camera on the phone than the one on the glasses. So it allows us really to utilize both. And is that companion phone that comes with the i5 or is it using your existing smartphone if you have one already? Yeah, great question. So it does come with the i5. I like to think of it more as a remote control than a phone. Sure. Um, it has all of our features on it. Um, you can turn the screen off and still zoom in using our side buttons or our uh, Bluetooth fob. Stick it in your pocket and you can still control the glasses. Um, so it's a pretty unique feature. Cool. Yeah. There's a lot of wearables on the market. You told me that yours is the best. It is. Why is the i5 the best? <laughs> the i5 is the best. It's the sleekest, the lightest, the slimmest on the market. No weight pulling your head forward. Um, we're able to utilize these people's remaining peripheral vision um, because we keep the bottom open uh, for a reason. Um, so people can actually walk while wearing these. It's not just for sitting on the couch and watching TV. You can walk around, perform your daily tasks. Um, it's an all-in-one device. It's good for near and far. Um, you can use it for short uh, durations or even up to like eight hours. Um, we have a battery extender that'll extend the life of the battery as well, so you can use it for long durations. Um, and then that feature where we can switch to use the camera, uh, the camera on the phone, that's really, really unique. No one else has that. That's awesome. And if people are interested in purchasing, it's available now, correct? It is available now. And yep. the retail price is? It's just under it's just under four thousand, so thirty nine ninety five US. Awesome. Thanks so much. We we appreciate yeah. you spending some time with us. Sure. Uh, enjoy the rest of your conference. You too. Thank you. Thanks. Tech Connect back on the floor here at CSUN 2023. Had to stop at the Humanware booth, especially for the new Monarch uh, tactile display here. We have Rachel. Rachel, tell us quickly a little bit about the Monarch. Absolutely. 
So the Monarch is the collaboration between APH, American Printing House, and Humanware. And th this is the Braille display and tactile tablet. So this has, it's a multi-line Braille display, 10 lines of Braille, 32 characters per line. This allows you to read multiple lines of Braille and it allows you to view tactile graphics. So this is a device that brings those two together for, at the same time. And you can zoom in of images, you can zoom out. So if you need more detail, you're able to get that. There is ways to pan the image around so you can see just the portion of it on the Braille surface that you need. And this is a device that is up and coming. So we're very excited for its future and we're very excited to demo it here at CSUN. I love the ability to zoom in and zoom out and pan around that image. I think that's really clever and, and uh, very cool, be to, like you said, to really kind of get in and see as much or as little detail as you want on that image. I, I think that's that's really cool. That's right. And, and all of that's taking place uh, on the device, right? So you can just uh, uh, do you upload images like onto an SD card and pop it in. Is that how you're getting uh, images and things onto the device? So the device right now is set to work with the APH Tactile Graphics Image Library, okay. TGIL. So you get images from there and then you can load them on the device. Um, USB, SD, um, and that's where we get images from for now. Okay. Is it for sale yet or it's about to be? What? So it is not for sale yet. Okay. Um, we still have a good maybe year, year and a half um, before we see it kind of make the, um, hit the ground running. Okay. Um, this is still in beta. This is still in development. This is changing all the time. But sure. the North Star of the Monarch is for education of, of any kind, for students of any kind to be able to get their textbooks and read them on the Monarch. That's been a challenge, um, sure. as, as we know from Braille textbooks, right? They take up a lot of space yeah. and they take a lot of time and cost to produce. Yeah. But with the Monarch, that will, I think, streamline a lot of that process. Yeah. So you'll be able to get your textbook, load it on the device, look at the graphs, if there are any, look at maps, uh, look at any science or engineering or math or anything with a graphic and then be able to also read the text as well. I know how much APH and Humanware is dedicated to Braille and it's awesome that this partnership has come together and I'm excited to see the product when it comes out, uh, when it's finally out. It's, it's great even now so it's amazing to see what will be here in a year. So thanks Rachel so much. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you so much. You too. Luke and I survived CSUN 2023, but it's time to go. Our bags are packed. They've kicked us out of our room. We saw some really awesome assistive technology and joined some really cool sessions. Can't wait to come back again next year. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you click that like button and go ahead and subscribe and share the video out. We sure do appreciate it. It makes a big difference. You can contact us in three different ways. Give us a call. 414-615-0103. Shoot us an email, techconnect at vision-forward.org or visit us online, vision-forward.org. Stay tuned.